Crystal Creations is the new Sims 4 stuff pack, and after watching that trailer, it's time for a good fashion rose for some of the new Create a Sim items. I have some pretty big opinions. Plus, stay tuned for information at the end of this video for what I think is actually a really positive move from the Sims team, which of course is a collaboration with a content creator for some of these new accessories. And of course, just as a disclaimer, I always care most about gameplay. This is all just in good fun, but I do want to talk about the fashion here because I do have a broader point to make. Now I say this often but I feel like Sims 4 fashion isn't inherently terrible unless you're looking at the base game but I will say they tend to play it pretty safe. And for this stuff pack even though I think there are cast items that are fairly interesting I keep seeing more potential and I want to tell you why I was a little bit let down actually when I reviewed the trailer again. First off let's start with these crystal shoes. Now on its surface, I actually think this is a pretty cool idea and I like the general idea and concept. I even said this would be great for a fairy tale let's play or something like that. However, I will say I feel like they are getting a little bit old in terms of what they're doing with their shoes. Now take a look at these custom content shoes and in fact I am going to be leaving links to all the Sims 4 custom content if you're interested in my video description. Now the main difference here of course is the overall profile and type of shoe. Overall, the custom content look is a lot more dainty, and I will say we tend to get the same types of high heels in the game. And just as evidence of why I think they need to step out of the box a little bit here, here's a look at all the different shoe types and styles they could try for Sims 4, and these are just a few of them, and of course there are even more styles they could explore. Now I will say we do have some of these, but my point here is I would love for them to try some new meshes. We tend to get a lot of kitten heels, for example, and even though I don't think it's a huge deal, I just think it's a missed opportunity not to explore some of these other styles. Then there's also the masculine fashion. Now I will say I don't mind this look whatsoever from the new reveal trailer, but on the other hand, I feel like they could have gone with a more unique style. On the other hand here, we have custom content and it is steampunk style. Now I'm not saying that steampunk inherently would have worked for this pack, I'm just saying it is definitely more unique. Yes, I do like versatility, but I do feel like we've seen the same kind of look for in The Sims 4. So on the plus, this could work with other packs packs, which I did mention in my review of the trailer. On the negative side, once again, I just want to see cast get more exciting. I want to see something unique and new, maybe something a little bit more on the bold side. And here's this look, which was at the very end of the trailer. Now on the plus side, I do appreciate that these clothes seem to be inclusive of all ages. And again, it is versatile. Once again, I feel like they're playing it really safe in terms of cutouts, textures, and silhouettes. Consider the CC on the other side, we have a high neck which is paired with a sweetheart neckline. You still get that kind of same feel to it, but the other one has a lot more dimension to it, more texture to it, and a lot more play with the silhouette. Overall, I just feel like the other one is a little bit on the bland side, and the one from the custom content creator definitely would make your sim stand out and I think exudes more personality as a whole. This is also the case with this look here. And from this pack, I actually think that this is a nice piece. When I initially saw this, I thought this was a decent cast item to add for this pack. But again, I was looking at CC and I was looking at all the other possibilities. They could have gone many ways, but if they did go more the steampunk way, as you can see, once again, they're playing a lot more with texture, different types of fabrics, and even necklines. Again, I'm not saying that it had to be for this pack, but I would argue that Sims 4 gets in a fashion ride and they don't explore as much necklines as they could. They don't explore as much different textures. And even though this pack I think is gonna be good for accessories, and I understand that's probably where a lot of the resources went, I just think after a while Sims 4, as old as it is, it really needs to start going forward and trying to take a few more fashion chances. Now trying to find a CC look to pair with this look from the trailer was pretty difficult because honestly I wasn't exactly sure what they were going for. And I think my overall impressions of the Crystals Creation stuff pack looks is that I'm not sure what they're going for. It seems to be a mix of styles 
it's not steampunk, it's not inherently boho, it's not inherently whimsy goth or witchy. It's kind of like a combination of several things, which definitely has some pros, but it also feels like they weren't exactly sure what direction to go in. Here it's definitely giving me a kind of boho witchy vibe. Now I do like the play with the sleeves, I think this is a little bit of a more adventurous look. We also get a layered ruffle detail, but if you take a look at the CC on the other side, there's just a lot more dimension to it, there's more play with patterns, of course we still need to see the swatches, but overall I feel like the look from the trailer is something that is somewhat similar to other packs, while the custom content here very much stands out and I think exudes more personality, again it would just be a more unique addition to our game. Another reason I wasn't sure what direction they were going for this stuff pack is this look right here. It is a low neck cardigan. Now I will say we had tons of Ozzy looks in Sims 4 and so at least they did try to modify this a bit. It looks a little bit different but I think if they were going to go with a cardigan they could have even gone for a dark academia look. I think that overall the general ideas are nice and I definitely will say it's nice to see a different type of hairstyle for masculine Sims, thank goodness. So I'm not saying this is all bad but once again I just look at some of these choices and I think they could push harder and could be more creative. And here's another look right here. Again we have those shoes in this picture that are really leaning towards a certain style. I think we could really get some daintier looks as well but I do think the green dress is an interesting choice but I think they could have gone for something a little bit more refined or a little bit more interesting. So for example there's this Rosalind dress and yes I know it could look a little bit on the historical side but I think it kind of gives that more dark academia witchy vibes and I think it's really interesting. Whereas the green dress me of a mismatch of several different items we already have in The Sims 4. Finally I can't see the full look of this. This was at the very end of the trailer but it does appear to be a layered turtleneck with a dress over it. Now I will say I don't mind this look at all and I do think though they could have gone with some different iterations. This is the one that I think necessarily is isn't very unique, but I definitely think this is also something I would be personally most likely to use. I think overall the direction of the clothing is not bad, but that isn't the point of this, because I always say that I don't think that the clothing in of itself is bad, but the point is I want clothing that actually makes me feel something, and I feel like Sims 4, it's time to take more chances overall. Now on the more positive side for the fashion notes, I think it's great when they collab with different creators. Number one, it gives that creator a platform and number two I just really enjoy to hear about the process and what they come up with. And Arifa B actually designed just three different pieces of jewelry for this pack that includes a necklace, earrings, and a ring that can be worn as a set or separate pieces. Being able to wear these as sets or separate pieces definitely is great for versatility so I love that. The necklace is made of a metal snake chain with colorful beads that include a bright gemstone. There's also earrings with multiple hoops and there is stacked jewelry. The creator also mentioned that the jewelry pieces can be used for both casual and daily looks and of course we're going to have a custom engagement ring option as well. Overall I think that the collab is very positive. I'm still somewhat hopeful for the gameplay too and I actually was more positive on my review video and my trailer reaction so definitely check that out. Like I said this is just meant in lighthearted fun, just a fun fashion roast. I am just challenging the Sims team to think outside of the box, play more with textures, colors, patterns, but most importantly, maybe go into some styles we haven't seen as much. I think that this is more unique than some of the other packs in terms of style, but I am most eager, of course, to learn about the gameplay, and I will be covering the live stream. As always, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.